for C3, I'm looking through the eyes of the upcoming generation. Yeah, that's correct. Right. And how they are seeing it. And that's pretty much what it looks like. So if they're talking community, if they're talking uh, relevance to uh, today's millennial, uh, and they're, they're creating and designing services that are aimed at reaching them and it's successful, then that's how I see the future. I think for us to have a vision and and put a and it's got a price tag on it, and then to say, hey, you guys fulfill this, would you? Is not going to help them at all. They need to own it in their own heart. And, and pretty much, I am uh, towards the end of projecting vision for the entire movement, except in very big terms, like one million worshippers around the world, 1,000 churches. Uh, to the, and, and we will, but they are not cultural. Uh, pictures. They are numeric and they are to keep us thinking big and in the doable zone because I think both of those are very doable and we will keep working towards making those happen. But I also think if I could uh, just say one other thing uh, that the emergence of groups within our movement is obviously a direction that is already happening. And so I think keeping a spirit of unity so that they don't become too much of like a silo in themselves, but so that there's this interconnection between a movement plus those themed groups within, within C3 is going to be something that we'll all learn how to do uh, in a healthy way, in a respectful way, and in a way that keeps us united because we're way better together than we are apart. I reckon one of the things that and the word I keep, we all keep hearing is um, family. Mm -hmm. And it's being used almost like we're home. Yeah. Uh, people keep saying, this is family. And I reckon that's one of the key things that does that. Right. Because it's not being unified by a structure or, right. or a model of yeah. church. Yeah. Yeah. There's a bigger um, you know, mechanism yeah. called family that keeps us together. Totally. And, and no matter where we get together in our regions all over the world, Different culturally and, and languages, mm -hmm. but it all feels. Yeah. yeah. It feels like when we first walked into the church. Yeah, there's a thread. And we're, we're home. It feels like that on a, a larger scale. And I think that, despite our differences, it's that diversity with unity thing. Yeah. But I think the family thing keeps us hooked. And we'll always be that. The older we get, sure. then our sons and our daughters, natural and spiritual, will become bigger. Then yeah, we've right. got grandchildren, great grandchildren. Yeah. And if we just keep that good vibes happening yeah that would be my ultimate goal to yeah. wherever i go that i'm just there to be mama chris to be yeah. to to celebrate yeah. the next generation and the next generation yeah. you know and to to be there in any to do whatever i'm asked to do i think to keep the basics yes. basic and to keep to do them beautifully and to keep the main thing the main thing yeah. if if yeah. the salvation of lost people yeah. is maintained as the highest expression of what we're trying to do. That shapes everything from how the money is spent, how we structure ourselves, what gets priority in resources and budget and personnel. If reaching lost people and discipling them in the church remains the priority, I think that if we're guardians of that, we will secure the future health. Because that's why movements don't, don't remain. Yeah. Right. And I think one of the keys to that is just keep church planning. Yeah. Yes. Keep that alive. Because yeah. they just start, it keeps it fresh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because every time someone new starts, it's, they're starting in that new era. Yeah. Yep. So that's it's it. inconvenient and uncomfortable. It's <laughs> and costly. <laughs> and, yeah. But, but if you're not Sorry, living God. an inconvenient and uncomfortable life, you are dissatisfied as a Christian. Yeah, that's right. It, when you are useful and generous and giving, even though it stretches you, you feel meaningfulness yeah, yeah. and the satisfaction of living your fullest life. It's like you would never change anything, would you? Right. right. Like, I mean, maybe something. I don't know. <laughs> but the, there's a few the things. Basics. The basics. Yeah. You yeah, would never exactly. change. Yeah. What about you, Simon? If we'd known what this was going to be like when we started, we'd never have done it. <laughs> but having done it, yes. we would never change a thing. Oh, that's what I love
I'm excited to be here in 2020. Uh, the future for C3, I see enlargement. I just see uh, so many more ones coming to know Jesus and there'd just be a greater influence across the nations. I'm super excited for the future of C3. Well, so now we're in 2020. It, it does just feel like one chapter is closing and another chapter is opening. I think we're going to go into nations that we've never been in before, regions that we've never been in. I think, I don't, I don't think we've seen what God can do with young people yet. I, I think we're going to have a move of God in young people around the world. I think teenagers are going to come into their own. I, I reckon we're going to have some churches that are 30, 50,000 people in nations that some of us don't even realize that God's doing something in. And I reckon that's out of the seed that's been sown around the world. We're about to see a move of God unprecedented. I think our great hope uh, for C3 is that we would be a movement of churches that endure. And uh, I think our history is so young. For much of our history, we have been first generation, second generation churches. Uh, but now we are entering into a new day where we have the third and the fourth generation. Uh, and our hope is that many years to come, there would be uh, over a million worshipers uh, in C3 churches all around the world. And I believe without a shadow of a doubt that we're going to see that happen. I see Edinburgh, C3 Edinburgh, in a position in the future where um, the community around us thrives as we thrive. We want to see so many lives transformed by the gospel. I just want to see people touched by the gospel. Just yeah. lives transformed, families transformed, um, people inspired with purpose, people inspired to live creatively and find community, um, children safe and, and excited about their lives and their prospects. A city that doesn't look to the past to find its identity, but um, can believe in something beautiful for its future. I feel like my formative years have been about this year, you know, the 2020 vision in C3. Uh, and, and yet now that we're here, uh, it, feels, it feels like a sense of completion with one breath and the beginning of something entirely new in the next breath. I actually am convinced that, um, you know, the best hasn't even begun yet. The best is yet to be for our C3 uh, movement across the planet. Yeah, it's so weird that 2020 is like now, like yeah. happening. Um, Cause it was the 2020 vision back in 2003 that inspired me to want to be a church planner. Right. And now we're living it, right. which is weird. Well, it was the first vision that I ever, like, even heard in a church. Yeah. Like, I was a teenager when we heard the 2020 vision, and I was like, that's cool. Yeah. I didn't think I wanted to be a part of it then, but look, now I am. But Looking at 20, the 2020 vision now, and then now believing for the next chapter and, and the future, there's like definitely a sobering responsibility that the price was paid by people that have gone before us and now here, here we are, Th that responsibility to carry it forward. Just so grateful and so thankful that the page was set for us. Like I often say it feels like we're riding the wave that was created for us. Like people give us credit, for, but it's not. Like we're just experiencing the fruit of someone else's sacrifice. You know, for me, I believe our movement is just beginning. This uh, movement will continue on an exponential course to gather millions into the kingdom of God because it's been consistent with the vision that God has given it. It's unstoppable and it's unbelievable. I am C3. We are 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 C3. We
We are C3. 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 We are C3.